outdoor honey jukes video on how to see if your speakers are good. Here are two ones that are bad. This one, quick visual inspection, I think we can uh, all work out this one has seen better days. But it works, not very well. This one looks fine, absolutely perfect. Except if you look closely, you can see the cone is recessed in the basket. That's going to limit movement, which will give terrible sound. And there's a tear in it there. But ultimately, people will say, hmm, looks all right, sounds all right, won't bother. This one, okay. Here's a speaker we reconed recently for a customer. Completely finished. You can see no tears, new gaskets, new cone, new dust cap, and inside, a new spider. Can't see that too easily. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a quick demonstration of sound quality. We're going to listen to this speaker first, and then this speaker, and then this speaker. So we'll do this one first. You can hear that. Distorted, lack of movement. And you just touch it. It's not good. That's where the cone should be, but it's recessed in. Now for the one we've reconed. So much clearer. Okay. So you can hear a difference there straight away. Hear it? Crap one. Good one. Now we'll change connections and plug in the really duff speaker. This one. Go on, honey. There you go. Nice and flappy look. You can see there what a totally crap speaker's like. Now we're going to show you the basic parts of a speaker. But first, we're going to show you how to check the quality of the cone. This good one that we've reconed, you can press the edge quite firmly, and it's flexible and solid, and it moves the entire cone. This one, surely we'll press the side of the cone, and it just gives way straight away. And you know, that's the same kind of pressure that I was using, and it's, it's just soft and generically not good. Okay, so that's soft rubbish. Now, let's have a look at the components of a speaker. Voice coil. This sits in the magnet. These two coil cables here are what we solder on the main keep the uh, lit speaker wires to. This is a spider. This supports the cone against the inside of the magnet and the speaker basket. This is very important to get the correct size spider, the correct cup, and these other properties which we're not going to tell you about, but you need to make sure that you get the correct spider. Gasket here. You can see where that goes. Dust cap sits above the voice call on the cone. And now the cones. Previously for Wurlitzer Magnavox speakers, you've been using these cones for bass. They're quite soft, which makes them okay for bass, but we found better ones recently. Here. These are much stiffer. They don't flex so easily. But there's still nothing wrong with this old type. We just prefer using these ones now. It's not a case of cheaper. Now, Shirley is going to give a demonstration of what can happen to the spider in this broken cone. Just cutting the cake. Okay. 
and there's a spider under there. You can see how damaged that cone is. This is useless scrap. I mean, even the, the part of the voice call came off. Now, that spider shouldn't tear like that. It just should not tear like that. And it's what, not even glued. Yeah, it's not even glued. And what will happen so often, um, people will say, oh, a speaker looks fine. Obviously, it isn't. And there's the ear gap. It has to be kept meticulously clean. We hope this has been a bit enlightening to show you the different types of speaker. I've known dealers who will sell speakers in this condition. I've also known many more dealers that will sell them in that condition. But if you've got any queries or doubts about speaker reconing, the quality of your speakers, come to Honey Dukes and we will always be happy to help you. You hear how crunchy that is. Yeah. They shouldn't be like that. Compare the new one. Yeah. Enough said. Okay, you'll find us on Facebook as Honey Dukes. Thank you.